In this video, we're going to walk through 10 key interaction features for report consumers when using the Performance Flow Visual. Feature number one is a map navigation feature, which can be incredibly useful when you have large hierarchies within your organization and you want to zoom in, and then you can use the map navigator experience to be able to move around and locate any of the parent or children in the hierarchy using this overlaid UI. Key feature number two will showcase the search options. As an example, if we searched for the word manager, we can see all the people with manager in their title, and if you click on it, that will navigate to them. Alternatively, if I was to search for a name, we get all the people with the found name, and once again, if we click on it, it will then move over and navigate to the individual. Feature number three are the children node counts. If you were to collapse any levels of the hierarchy, you'll get the count of children directly below it, plus you'll have some additional configurations. If I collapse two levels above, Notice currently that this is set at number seven to show all of the children at every level below it. You can also change that in the display settings and you come over to navigation and you have an option for node count to show either all or immediate, which can now be observed to change it just to a count of two because there are only two directly below and then Nash has three counts below her. Key feature number four are any of the custom links that can be created. Notice that we have one between Lexi and the technical director as well as another one between Knox and Aiden. Those custom connectors also show up here where you select them and it will then automatically filter the report to showing these connections. If you'd like to add a link, you can come up to links, add a link, select the two people to connect it from. I'm gonna connect Jack down to Lucas and then the link will show up with options to edit the appearance, the direction or the link type. Another key feature is the display of the KPIs and variances on any of the cards. Notice for the chairman for Jack Hill, we have a core value in here, which is the salary plus a variance from his salary last year. If we come up to KPIs, we can observe that we can choose for the main value which to display between these. And then correspondingly with that, we have the variance that allows us to display no variance or whatever comparative values we'd want to compare to the two of them. Additionally, we have many different settings for the spark line where we can choose which to display on the spark line itself, chart type to choose the type of spark line to display underneath any of those cards, and then a lot of additional options for configuring and formatting those lines as well. Visual alerts can also be created utilizing conditional formatting. Notice that we have low performer over on the left under the legend. Selecting that will then highlight a few cards that have been conditionally formatted. Coming up to conditional formatting, and seeing the rule over here, go into edit, we can observe that we have impacted the color border with a border color of red, just to apply to the top side where if the performance score is less than a certain value, in this case 1200, go ahead and apply those colors. And you have the option for rules or color scales to apply these formatting logic. The next feature showcases the subgroups that we have down here as tabs, which starts from a particular node in the hierarchy. If I select tech team, it shows me everyone below the technical director. Selecting QA team similarly shows me the QA group. Now, if we go back to the top node for any of the people that are in here, such as managers, we can come over to the card, select the ellipses. And then if we set as top level, we are then given a new card down here and that immediately shows everyone below her in those levels of the hierarchy. Notes are also an important feature that facilitates and encourages collaboration. We can see that there's already been a note added for Lexi, who is performing well this quarter. And if we come to any of the other cards, such as Elliot, click on the ellipses, add a note. We're given a box that will allow us to enter any notes we'd like with some formatting options contained here at the top and color coding options as well for the icon to indicate and separate them depending on the type of note being added. And last but not least, we have a series of predefined templates which we can access by coming up to the template menu here. And currently the default is set to executive. We also have classic, circular, basic, and many more, each with their own option to be able to edit and customize as well.